Good morning, child of God. Time to meditate on the Holy Word of God. So important we do it daily here on Seize the Day. Also do it on my YouTube channel most days and uh, put it up on my Facebook page as well. So today, Tuesday of Holy Week, we focus in on the person of Peter in the gospel reading. Before that, though, let's do the first reading from Isaiah 49, 1 through 6. This is the second oracle of the servant of the Lord, the suffering servant prophecies. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I had thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord from Isaiah 49, our first reading in today's Mass, the second oracle of the servant of the Lord. Jesus came, of course, to reunite in a perfect way the tribes of Israel, but he also came for you and me, Jew and Gentile alike, slave or free, Greek and Roman, everybody the Lord came for. The responsorial today from Psalm 71, I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. And the response again, I will sing of your salvation from Psalm 71. Now the gospel reading today is from John chapter 13. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now, none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children... I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you. The cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord from John chapter 13, our Gospel reading in today's Mass. Peter, the rock, and Scandalon, the stumbling block. Very much like me. Maybe like you as well. Let's start our day with a prayer. Father, we love you. We thank you, Lord God, and we're so sorry for those times when we too are that stumbling block. Forgive us for denying you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. So honored to have you here with me. And if you get something out of these, I hope you'll subscribe to the YouTube channel and share it with your friends as well. So until next time, God bless.